Hey everybody, it's Mr. Smeeds, and today we'll be covering topic 6.1, which is renewable versus non-renewable energy sources. So we'll be talking about definitions of what these sources are and examples of these sources. Our objective for the day is to be able to identify the difference between renewable and non-renewable resources. We need to know that non-renewable resources exist in fixed amounts and they cannot be regenerated or replaced, but that renewable resources can be naturally regenerated if they're used at or near the rate of regeneration. Our suggested science skill we'll be practicing at the end of the video is explaining an environmental process. So a renewable resource is one that can be replaced or regenerated naturally when it's used at or near the rate of regeneration. So that's kind of key. We can't use it faster than it regenerates, then it's not really renewable anymore and can become exhausted. We have two categories. One of them is depletable renewables. So these can run out if they're overused. For instance, if we use biomass like wood, if we cut down forests faster than they regrow, then we're not really using that sustainably and it does not exist as a renewable resource. It will run out eventually. Other examples are charcoal, ethanol, which is a form of alcohol that we generate from corn. So if we're not replanting that corn and taking care of the soil in a way that's continuing to support ethanol production, we're not doing it sustainably and it's not a renewable resource. Then we have non-depletable renewables. These are renewable resources that do not run out when they're overused, they cannot be exhausted, and so examples include the sun. So if we put up solar panels, that doesn't make there less sunlight in the future, it's gonna to continue to shine. Same thing with wind turbines, we can harness the wind's energy. Wind turbines don't lead to less wind in the future, it can't be depleted or it can't run out and then hydroelectric power as well. If we set up a dam in a river, we may cause some consequences to the ecosystems nearby, but we're not destroying water. The water isn't ruined or depleted by its use for hydroelectric power. Non-renewable energy sources are depleted by their use and they exist in fixed amounts on earth and they will run out when they're overused. So the best example is fossil fuels. These are the fossilized remains of biomass that get compressed under rock layers over millions of years. And that's the key. We're using them far faster than they regenerate. They do not regenerate on any sort of time scale that humans can have access to. And so they're not renewable. They are coal, oil, and natural gas. Unfortunately, they power the vast majority of our world's energy sources right now. And we're scheduled to run out of them in the not so distant future. So these are non-renewable resources. Another non-renewable energy source is nuclear power. So nuclear power depends on radioactive elements, primarily uranium, but uranium exists in really finite amounts on earth. And so it's also going to run out eventually. So the key to renewable energy resources is the rate of consumption. We have to consume them at a rate that is at or below the rate that they regenerate. So we can't use them faster than they replenish themselves. This graph will show us an example of doing just that. In the dark bars, we have deforestation rates. In the lighter colored bars, we have reforestation rates. So you can see that just about every year, we are deforesting at a faster rate than we're reforesting. So this is not gonna lead to our forests being a renewable resource. We're depleting them, we're overusing them, and they will run out if we continue this pattern. Fossil fuels are an example of a source that is not renewable. This is because they take so much longer to regenerate than the rate at which we use them that we will also run out of these based on our current consumption trends. This is a graph that just shows the estimated number of years that we have left of different fossil fuels based on our current consumption. So if we currently consume crude oil petroleum, which is the main product in gasoline that you use to fuel your car, if we keep using it at the rate that we're currently using it at, we're going to run out of it in about 50 years. Natural gas has a little bit longer lifespan and coal is estimated to last another 114 years. Now these estimates are not as important as the underlying fact that fossil fuels exist in a fixed amount. They do not regenerate at a rate that is reusable by humans, so they will run out. Again, whether these estimates are a little off by 10 or 20 years, it doesn't really matter. We're going to run out of fossil fuels if we continue to use them at the rate we're using them now. Our suggested science skill to practice for FRQ 6.1 today is explaining an environmental concept. And so I want you to see if you can explain whether or not biomass is a renewable energy source and justify your answer. All right, everybody. 
Thanks for tuning in today. Don't forget to like this video if it was helpful. Subscribe for future Apes video updates and check out other notes over here to the side. And as always, think like a mountain, write like a scholar.